Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2023 and honestly you guys, I, I kind of unboxed a new handbag as my first video of the year. It's been a case for the past few years. There's no new handbag this year. Why? First of all, I did purchase handbags during the a handbag during the sale from Fashion File. They had a sale going towards like the end of the month, December, and that bag went back immediately the next day. I didn't even show you. I didn't want to show you. It was a file. And I did purchase another handbag from Sex, I believe. Yeah, one of the department stores. And it got cancelled. My order got cancelled. So it's a fail. There's no new handbag. No worries. Today's video is still going to be about the handbags, but we're going to be talking about my kind of I'm going to highlight my best handbag purchases of the past year, as well as a few that just were a little fail. So let's do it. I'm wearing this really beautiful silk scarf from Louis Vuitton. Uh, I think it's considered vintage now. I have it for years. <laughs> so I don't even know exactly what's the name of it, but I think it's it's really pretty. It has this little, you know, kind of like a buckle design, kind of like a trunk, I could say, design, but I love the, you know, the kind of a blue vibe. Kind of goes well with my eyes, but anyway. I purchased quite a few small bags this past year. And the first one that I want to show you, which I am obsessed with and I'm in love with, is this beauty. I think it's called a saddle pouch. This is obviously from Dior. And yeah, it's blue. <laughs> and I purchased this handbag, if you guys remember, in during the summer. It was the end of July, uh, beginning of August in Italy, in Rome. We were traveling for vacation and I went to the Dior boutique in Rome by the Spanish Steps area and I purchased this beauty. This was exactly what I planned to buy and I'm so glad I did. I absolutely love this bag. It is really like a wallet on the chain, I would say. Um, it is very small bag, as you can see, you know, it's quite narrow. Um, it, is, it is made of fabric, so this is all like a jacquard, or jacquard, whatever you say it. Um, you know, they're typical Dior um, monogram. <laughs> and there is a long chain that is detachable, but also the chain um, is, is done in this kind of like an antique, I would say, finish. It's not very old looking but it's not very shiny at the same time it's absolutely beautiful it does match the obviously the d here the dior hardware here on the bottom and it's great i love this bag i wore it quite a few times when we came back obviously now it's kind of a wintry you know kind of yucky weather so i don't really uh wear it a lot but hey as soon as it gets being hot again and sunny this bag will be used again um so yeah i i kind of love it so i have some i have some receipts in here so i love this bag like i said this is more like a wallet on a chain has a couple of compartments it is available you can buy it here obviously in america on the dior website i can link it down below if you want to check it out i highly recommend this is a good option to um chanel Obviously, you know, Chanel does come with the leather version, but I was really looking for this oblique kind of a version of this bag. So I am very happy that I got this and that I was able to save a little bit of money. You know, if you buy in Europe, it's always a better... Um, well, the, the, the euro is so kind of low. Is it still kind of low? Because it was a very good kind of exchange rate, you know, dollars to euros. So it was really, really worth the purchase. Another handbag which was a highlight and a big win of this past year is this little baby. <laughs> so this is from uh, Fendi and it is kind of, I would compare this bag to Felici Pochette from Louis Vuitton if you're familiar with that little handbag. It's very very similar uh, size wise. Uh, I heard from people because I did a little review of this bag 
when I receive it and uh, I kind of show you guys what can fit and a few of you commented that it fits more than the Felici. I think maybe just the fact that this bag is very kind of flexible. You know, if you can tell it's it's yeah, it's it's kind of, you know, again, you can <laughs> you can you can stretch it a little bit and put quite a bit of the items in here. It does come with the two little pouches. This is the one that I usually use. This is just like a zipper pouch which another I have a bunch of receipts. You can tell I've been using those bags, right? And this pouch is, I use it more like, kind of like a wallet. And there's another pouch, which I don't, I didn't bring it in here, but it's more like a card holder. It's the same kind of a long size. So very simple design. Again, it has a very long chain. This chain is more uh, kind of nice and shiny. So it is a little bit different. It has one pocket in here and just, you know, just a textile lining. And obviously the outside is all leather and I love this handbag. It's, again, I was thinking to get the Felici, but then I've decided to go with Fendi because I just want to have, I'm just trying to reach out to different designers' houses and, um, see you know if i can get something different just just have a little bit more variety so i'm very glad that i purchased this because again i'm so into small bags recently and i know it, it the big bags are kind of coming back <laughs> making their you know come back but i'm so into the tiny little bags it's just so much easier you know you just um wear it cross body and you just run <laughs> do your things you know whatever you need to do so um yeah, so this bag is another one. Okay, let's talk about one more small bag that I've purchased this past year, and it's from uh, Saint Laurent. And this is the bag, again, that I purchased in Italy, in Rome. And this is basically a little clutch. And you guys, I went to Italy thinking again that I'm gonna buy this bag, and I'm glad that I did, because I absolutely love Saint Laurent, I do have a large version of this handbag, which I use all the time. It's one of my favorite bags, so I love the whole design. But unfortunately, I didn't even use it once. Not even once since August, basically. <laughs> so I'm gonna consider this a fail, um, but I know I will use it. It's just because I did not use it it's gonna be a fail but I'm not um, y y you know I still love the fact that I purchased it it's not a complete fail uh, and I did purchase like a little insert you know that you can wear it as a crossbody but for some reason I just did not use it and um, I don't know so I <laughs> so it is kind of a fail but I absolutely love this uh, little clutch and obviously it comes with that wristlet so you can carry it as a you know as a clutch it's kind of it's kind of nice to kind of grab and go it does have quite a bit of the space I mean for a little bag that it is it has quite a bit of the space there's like a little yeah like a little slip packet but um yeah I didn't use it <laughs> <laughs> so um, I will have to make an effort and you know start styling this back and because I think it's absolutely beautiful and if I like I said if I put this insert if I can wear it crossbody I think it's gonna be a little bit um, better because I don't really use like clutches as a clutch I bought this thinking that I'm gonna transfer uh, this into a kind of a crossbody bag so yeah it is a fail but not a complete fail I still love this bag. In the beginning of the year, I think one of the first handbags that I purchased in January, it was the off-white brand handbags. And um, I am obsessed with this bag, okay? I know it received a mixed reviews from you guys. Some of you guys love it, some of you guys hate it. I love this bag and I did kind of um, show you guys like more in-depth reviews. I actually bought two handbags from Off-White. Um, this wasn't the very first one. Uh, the very first one was the white handbag, which I didn't bring it here. It's more like a seasonal bag. I still love it, but it's more like a wintery bag, so I'm not including it in here. But I really want to feature this. This was my second bag that I purchased. and. This is a year-round handbag and I've used this a ton. So I really wanted to bring it here 
and just tell you guys about this because I absolutely love it. This is probably most of the, this is probably the bag that is the most beautifully made. What I mean by that um, is, first of all, is the leather and the quality of craftsmanship. I cannot get over how beautiful the inside, by the way, there is a um, long, strong, uh, long crossbody strap, which is removable. You can remove it. Um, I kind of start here inside, but you guys look at this. This is all leather line, has a tons of little slip pockets, compartment, you name it. There is so much room in here. See, I'm opening this one even in there. There's another one for like a credit cards. But the inside is all leather line and it's a beautiful, like a burgundy color. And I just love this bag. This is the best made bag I've ever seen. Like even, oh, I still have a blue sticker, by the way. Even the Chanel bags, I feel like some of the Chanel bags are not as well made anymore as this. This is all, I believe this is made in Italy. Yeah, it says in here, it's off-white made in Italy. So it's obviously, I feel like it's a box leather. Um, so it is kind of a shiny, you see has a little bit um, shine on the, I look at the viewfinder. Um, I did clean it up recently because, you know, because of the, um, because of the leather's kind of shiny can get a little bit fingerprint you can see the fingerprints on it so i did kind of wipe it off recently um because i was using but you guys if you still can get this handbag run and get it if i can find it i'll link it down but the, in the description box because this is one of the best of white handbags in my opinion you can get one of my most recent bags that i purchased i kind of received it for my birthday honestly <laughs> and this is obviously the garden party from hermes i'm gonna say that this handbag is in between <laughs> i i love it and at the same time i think it's very unpractical bag um if you are typical like a top handle person and this is how you carry on ba your bags, I think you will love it, okay? And if I have a day then I feel like, okay, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna carry it, top handle, I'm gonna feel like a lady, those are the days when I love this bag. And then when I have to run to the store and do something and grab something, this bag gets in my way because there's no shoulder strap, there's no crossbody option. So obviously I knew this buying this handbag. It's the same thing with like buying the Birkin. I think it would be very, very unpractical. So uh, for that reason, you need to kind of, so you really need to think about it. Do you, are you gonna wear it? Are you gonna love it or not? And you know, to me, this is not a everyday handbag, although it's full of stuff because I have been using it <laughs> this week. But honestly, if I have to, like today afternoon, I have to go run errands to Costco, I'm probably gonna take my wallet out of this and just, you know, put it in my probably Burberry note bag that I just got for Christmas. So, um, yes, but there are days, there are days that I like to just carry this, you know, in my hands and feel a little bit like ladylike and I take it to work with me and, you know, I love it. But like I said, it's not a bag for everybody, but I do kind of love simplicity of it. And, um, so I'm gonna rate it 50-50, you know? It's a great bag, but at the same time, it's not super practical. Another bag that I purchased in Europe this past summer, and this particular bag is Louis Vuitton Neverfull, and this bag I purchased in June when I flew to Poland. So uh, I purchased this in Warsaw, Louis Vuitton Boutique, and I originally wanted to buy a black and I'm so glad that I purchased this kind of a topi. I think it's called the Dove, Love Dove, I forget. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is one of this beautiful kind of a grayish topi color, which I think is just gonna go with everything. Um, my sister, as well as a sales associate told me, do not get the black, <laughs> you need this color in your life. And like I said, I'm so glad that I did. I've been using this like crazy. So I do highly recommend buying a Neverfull. If, you, if you're looking for a good tote, especially this is great as a work bag. That's mainly how I use it. 
uh, so since like September, late August, really, uh, you know, when I when the college is in session, I go to work, and I drag all my stuff with me, <laughs> including you know if I take lunch with me and other stuff. This bag will fit everything. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It's made beautifully. It does come with this, obviously, the pouch. I'm sure you're all familiar um, with the Neverfull, and has this beautiful dark brown kind of interior and uh, I love it. It's like a Rose Rose version of the Neverfull. <laughs> I still love my um, Neverfull um, monogram obviously but you know this is like an upgraded version um, of the regular Neverfull. So yeah this bag is a winner. I highly recommend getting the leather version if you're into this kind of bags and um, when I did the little review of this bag where I talk about this uh, recently, I mentioned that I wish they would just give us a little bit uh, bigger strap drop. Because if you do wear like more kind of a bigger coat, you know, like now it's a little bit colder, um, it's hard to fit on your shoulder, you know, because of the low strap drop. I think I don't have a luck when it comes to the Hermes bags because the very first Hermes bag when I purchased, which was Evelyn, it was either PM or GM, I don't remember. It's been a few years ago and I end up selling this bag basically a few months after I purchased and I wore it just a few times. It didn't work for me. Um, <laughs> then I mentioned the garden party as much as I love it is a 50-50 bag and the third one that I'm gonna share with you <laughs> it's still in the dust bag and it's beautifully packed because I never carry that bag <laughs> so um, this is the Cabas tote um, this is the smaller version obviously it comes with the with the shoulder strap I did share this bag I did the whole unboxing when I came back from Poland because I did buy this bag in Hermes boutique in Warsaw back in June and uh, I was so happy that I purchased this bag because I had this on my wish list and I went with the picture and I showed the sales associate the picture. He did not want to sell me this bag. First he told me they don't have it. It's like a long story. Go back and listen to this video. Uh, but anyway, suddenly the bag was available. <laughs> And you guys, I was so happy that I got it. Uh, my brother was there with me and he was like, if you love it, just get it. <laughs> so the problem after I purchased it, obviously I came here and I was so excited and I was trying to style it a few times. The problem was that I, the problem is that I don't know how to style bags that have like a warm tone, um, which means like brown, okay? Most of the bags that I have are like kind of a cooler tone or the black or just very kind of neutral. I mean, this is neutral too, but I don't know. I am not the best at styling brown bags. That's why I usually stay away from the browns. But for some reason, I just love this combination of this kind of, uh, uh, you know, off-white kind of a color with a brown. And... Uh, <laughs> And I know a few of you, when I, when I talked recently about this handbook, a few of you told me that y you love the look of it. Probably will go with what I have today on. So I am going to use it. I Because at some point I was trying to sell it, but I'm just I'm just not sure. Should I sell it? Should I keep it? I don't know. Um, but uh, if I don't sell it, I'll, I'll make an effort and I'm going to try to use it, obviously. It is such a beautiful bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, I keep it nicely and stuffed right now. It's going to wait till the spring and summer. And, you know, if I won't be able to style it, I probably will have to let it go because there's just no point of, you know, keeping another bag. But, um, again, this is going to be one of those 50-50 bags. <laughs> I think I should just give up on Hermes, right? It's just not... <laughs> it seems like it's just not working for me. <laughs> okay, the very last bag that I want to feature today is the bag that I purchased pre-owned and when I saw it, I just jumped on it because this is the bag that I wanted to have and I've been looking for for the past few years. 
and I'm talking about the Chanel Surf Tote. And when I basically saw this bag available in this, I'm gonna say pristine condition, I just jumped on it. I had to buy it and you guys, I am so happy I did because this is another um, one of my org bags that I carry a lot when I uh, go teaching and um, I just love it because it's you can fit so much in here. And yes, the, the there's two flaws, basically one. Uh, maybe the fact that this bag originally came with the shoulder strap, but when I was buying it, the shoulder strap was missing. So yes, I got a good price, but the shoulder strap was missing as well as this little insert that you have like a removable pouch, which I absolutely don't care about this. Let me just remove the stuffing. Look how great condition this bag is not even sagging. This bag is just, yes, I do take care of it and I store it um, all with the air paper in this, you know, in this position. So there's gonna be no sagging and, you know, nothing bad happening. There's so many compartments. Um, and like I said, the middle pouch is the, there was like a nylon removable pouch. So that is missing as well as a long shoulder strap. So if I can, um, but I think I can get a shoulder strap, you know, any black shoulder strap I can get um, made for this bag. It wouldn't be a problem because sometimes, you know, when I go to work and I carry violin with me and this and, you know, some, usually something else, it, it's nice to have an option of the strap. But it, I, I have to admit, if I don't have to wear any bulky coat, I still put this on my shoulder it is a little you know it's sitting a little high but i am able to still kind of put it on my shoulder um this is obviously not you know it's probably even a shorter strap drop than the neverfull but again if i don't have a coat on me or anything like that i am able to just put it like this and i just <laughs> carry this bag so it would be nice to have this um you know long strap option or even like a shoulder strap but you know just any strap but anyway um i love this bag i love this bag and obviously there's this little cc there is a lot of you know compartments a lot of pockets and there's a magnetic closure right here in the middle and there is a back pocket as well so yeah um i know minus the little details that are missing i think the back is incredible and it was definitely a great buy all right guys so this is all this is all the handbags i wanted to talk about today there's obviously more that i purchased and like i said some of them are like more kind of a seasonal bag that i i don't really reach for on a regular basis so you know i don't want to talk about some of them i purchased just recently so there's not much i can tell yet but there's still a few handbags that i am considering selling that is just not working for me so maybe i'll do a little video of the handbags that i really don't use much and i don't feel like they're receiving enough love from me <laughs> so i could you know potentially sell those bags but anyway um yeah uh leave a comment <laughs> let me know what do you think about those handbags and if you do own any of those let me know how it works for you if i can find any of those bags i will link them down in the description box if you are considering buying any of those bags, now you know my thoughts, my opinions. So hopefully you will find this helpful. All right, guys. Again, Happy New Year. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.